Okay, now I'm going to show you how to set up the light sphere and do your first shot on a Nikon SLR system. So, we're going to go back to the postcard that came with your light sphere and we're going to refer to the instructions on it. The first thing that the instructions say is to put the camera onto ISO 800. Hold down the ISO button and we're going to use this dial to change it. So we're going to take it up to 800, right there. And then <clears throat> that sets up the camera. Okay, so we're in the shooting menu right now. Just, just a little helper. Your camera is going to default to color space sRGB. You don't want to go to Adobe RGB. There's going to be some confusion on the internet where people say that it's actually better and it is better because it has what's called a wider gamut and that's a whole thing you can Google. But for purposes of computer use or wet process printing, like if you're going to have your prints made at a photo lab, you want to be an sRGB or else your colors are going to be very muddy and murky because it's going to crop out the, uh, the deepest reds and the, the things closest to purple. Okay, so that's white balance. And now let me show you how the flash works. Okay, so this is your Nikon SB900. The controls are the same for the 700, the 910, 600. First you just turn it on and when the ca camera was set to ISO 800 it matched it up here on the flash. That's nice. And then it's also on TTL which is also perfect. And we're going to tilt the head up and backwards. So you'll see that the little arrow here goes up the Nikon doesn't change, but it's just now TTL, which is perfect. Now, I want to show you the TTL verification light. <clears throat> when I take a photo and it's at the proper exposure, this little light will blink. If it's incorrect, if it's underexposed, it will do this. You see that blinking? That's angry red dot blink. That means it did not have enough TTL exposure, and that's when you know your exposure is not correct. If that blinks, then what you need to do is A, move closer to your subject, B, change the batteries on your flash because that might be low, or C, change the ISO. That would be kind of not a likely scenario because we have it at ISO 800. But those are the things to check. Don't change your screen, uh, don't change your exposure based on what you see on the screen. Sometimes people look at the uh, play button and they think that the image is too dark and so they they do an override on the flash. Don't do that. Just go with your regular TTL and then again here's what it looks like with the underexposure. Many many flashes of anger and hey idiot you've done this wrong and let me just go ahead and put it on a proper exposure and you can see that it does not blink and that's basically how to use it. Okay let's take you to your first before and after photos.